One last breath in me, I know you wanna take it away. You've got your hands around my throat, so I only breathe when I'm alone. These are the lyrics from former GOT7 member Mark Twan's single, Last Breath. This song is said to be the expression of his time with JYP Entertainment. Was it that bad? Are the K-pop idols more like slaves to agencies than shining stars? Sad, but in some cases, yes. Here are 10 K-pop groups that were treated brutally and at last abandoned mercilessly. Number 10, 4 Minute. 4 Minute was a five-member group that launched under Cube Entertainment in 2009. Even after performing for years together, the only idol Cube cared about was Hyuna. She was overexerted and only her acts were promoted. The other four members, Nam Ji Hyun, Hyoga Yoon, Jeon Ji Yoon, and Kwon So Hyun did not have any chance to shine. The group members were neglected despite winning major awards. After facing neglect for years, in 2016, the four neglected members of 4 Minute refused to renew their contract and the group disbanded. But Hyuna continued as a solo artist of Cube Entertainment. Number 9, Triple H. After three years of solo performances, Hyuna became a part of another group by Cube Entertainment, Triple H, in 2017. The group consisted of three members, Hyuna and Pentagon members Hui and Lee Don. The agency only cared about its rules. After giving hits like 365 Fresh and Retro Future, the news of Hyuna and Don's relationship broke the internet. Cube was quick to deny the rumors, but Cube put so much pressure on the artist that angry Hyuna made her relationship with Don official. Fans had no problem with their relationship and were wishing the couple well, but the company made the life of both singers difficult and their contracts were terminated. With Hui the only person left, literally, Triple H doesn't exist. Number 8, CLC. If you think 4 Minute was treated badly by Cube Entertainment, here is CLC, another group of the agency that was treated worse than 4 Minute. The agency only allowed the members to perform for cute and girl crush themes. This was to ensure that the group does not overshadow 4 Minute, but after 4 Minute was disbanded, the company imposed the looks and themes of 4 Minute on CLC. This made 4 Minute fans angry who refused to support CLC. But the company did not care about CLC's image or negative talk about the members and only concentrated on making profits. Fighting against all odds, the group made a comeback with the hit, Black Dress. But instead of supporting the group, Cube launched Idol and neglected CLC completely. Since the launch of Idol, CLC's songs were shot in a room or within a box-like setup. After keeping CLC members Idol without activity since 2019, CLC was disbanded in June 2022. Number 7. TRCNG the 10-member boy group TRCNG was formed by TS Entertainment in 2017. The agency mistreated the members materially, physically, and mentally. They had to live in a horribly cluttered dorm with no space to even keep their clothes. The utility bills were not paid, forcing members to sleep in dark, cold rooms. The agency did not even pay members' hospital bills. More than anything, they did not even have a proper toilet facility. Screenshots of messages of staff asking members to serve at illegal entertainment bars and pictures of staff assaulting members started making news online. It was also said that the agency took 90% of the earnings from the artist's earnings. Number 6, 21. The four-girl band 21 was launched by YG Entertainment in 2009. The group was forced to take a hiatus after its member, Pak Bom, was suspected of consuming drugs in 2014. After this hiatus, the girls were technically members of 21 but were not allowed to promote any music by the agency. Thus, the three girls left to try out solo careers. Leader of the group and rapper CL signed a deal with Scooter Braun in Hollywood. Instead of supporting, YG Entertainment stopped CL from releasing solo content in two continents in 2016. Reporters said that YG Entertainment's Young Hyung Suk even stopped returning her text. CL got back to him in 2018 when he uploaded a screenshot of an article that covered Zexki's Eun Ji Won being nice to Blackpink's Jisoo. CL wrote a comment, What about me, boss? Hashtag, please return my text. After a long wait in 2019, CL quit YG Entertainment and was able to release the EP In the Name of Love. Number 5, TVXQ. TVXQ was a five-member band launched in 2003 by SM Entertainment. 
the agency's true colors were revealed in 2010 when three members, Jai Jong, Jun Su, and Yoon Chun, not only quit TVXQ but also filed a lawsuit against SM Entertainment. The case was filed asking the court to halt a contract of 13 year term. The trio also alleged that the agency had taken a large share of the group's earnings too. The lawsuit ended with TVXQ freeing the three members from the company. But the impact of the case was so significant that at least 10 management agencies made changes and cut down the contract period from 13 to a maximum of 7 years. Number 4. BAP BAP Boy Band was formed under TS Entertainment in 2012. BAP was the charge topper in 2013 and 2014 and its singles were number 1 on World Albums Chart. But instead of becoming a top group, BAP was disbanded in 2019. BAP even filed a lawsuit against TS Entertainment, alleging that the company was not treating them well. They asked the company to terminate their contract and members said that after the huge success of their albums, BAP members were paid only $16,000 each, whereas the company kept $9 million to itself. The agency is said to have tired the BAP members out and forced them to perform even when they were sick. Their programs were always tightly scheduled and the agency did not care about the mental and physical health of their members. BAP's action made big news as for the first time, the entire group had sued the company. Number 3. Pristin Pristin was launched by Pledis Entertainment in 2016. The group was appreciated and won the Rookie of the Year award in 2017. But soon, fans started fat-shaming one of Pristin members, Kayla. Pledis did not take any action. They instead put pressure on 15-year-old Kayla to fit into the system. She was forced to take a hiatus. But when she returned after shedding her weight, the agency neglected her and focused only on the other members. Soon, Pledis started neglecting the entire group and did not have any activity scheduled for the group for two years. Meanwhile, when Kayla was back from her second hiatus, the agency announced that Kayla was no more with the group. In fact, the agency also deleted the post in Fan Cafe that demanded Pristine's comeback. After keeping Pristine members idle for two years at last in 2019, Pledis announced that the group was disbanded. Number 2. Stellar Stellar was a four-member girl group launched by The Entertainment Pascal in 2011. The group consisted of Min Hee, Hyun Eun, Song Young, and Young Hyun. The group entered the K-pop industry with a cute girl crush image, but soon the group was asked to change its image to a sexy and seductive style. The new album Marionette was released with this image. The song was rated as 19 plus content. According to Hyo Eun, the company had tricked them into filming seductive scenes. The members were not explained that the outcome of the video will give an erotic vibe. For example, the scene of drinking milk was shot normally asking the singers to spill some milk while drinking it, but it was shown completely in an erotic way in the video. Despite being hurt by the company, the girls decided to keep quiet because they were not in a position to pay the huge amount of penalty fee. After that, the company forced them to conduct a photo shoot with revealing dresses and later made it public, which heavily affected the image of its members. Despite their singles becoming huge hits, the members were only paid $9,000 each. In fact, the company would sometimes just deliver one meal, asking the four members to share it. All members refused to renew their contract and the group disbanded in 2018. Number 1. GOT7 JYP Entertainment came under criticism from all quarters when the news of disbanding of GOT7 was announced in 2021. Fans knew all was not well when GOT7 member Bam Bam unfollowed agency head Park Jin Young on social media. He even deleted his picture taken with Park Jin Young. Yes, GOT7, which has a huge fan base, was completely neglected by JYP Entertainment. To the fans and members' utter disappointment, their 2019 MV, You Calling My Name, did not even have a video teaser. The agency released a low quality photo teaser to everyone's surprise. Even the time of music video release was not announced on time, leaving fans clueless. The agency announced the comeback and world tour of GOT7 simultaneously in a hurry. Fans could not even arrange to buy concert tickets. JYP restricted members from putting their creative talent to use. At one time, there was no action against Seisang's lurking around GOT7's dorm and making threat calls to GOT7 members. 
Tired of being abandoned, all seven members decided not to renew their contract with JYP and that was the end of GOT7. Of course, being abandoned is the worst feeling one can have. Some of your favorite K-pop groups have not only received love but have been abandoned too.